Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot, and this may very well be the last episode of uh, my Let's Play of Chung Su here. I think we finally uh, got all these little bastards where we want them. So, what we did last time is we took Ard, the capital of uh, Alphala. Uh, basically, we've been going and we've been stabbing everybody who used to be buddies with us in the back. Because we're going for a domination victory. So. We've reduced Elodie to one city here. We took all of her other cities, either through warfare or through, uh, like, peace negotiations. We took the former capital and most of the cities of uh, Integer. Their capital, Welskit, is here. We wiped off... Uh, we wiped Duncan and the NSA off the map entirely. And we did the same thing over up here to uh, Citadel and Spatilla here. So, we're doing all right. And we have a virtue. We'll go down the industry tree, which we probably should have gone through in the first place, but that's fine. Go ahead and uh, grab some of those. And we are going to continue and siphon energy, do whatever we can, basically. I'm actually curious to see the uh, see the intrigue levels in, around Mandrea here. Uh, nah, they're still pretty low. We were able to get a coup once with Elodie way back when. There's a video called The Wrath of Elodie, which is the aftermath of that coup where she just promptly takes back her capital and then is at war with us for like a hundred turns. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't do that often enough. The AI is just a little bit too good at keeping their big level to down on the uh, higher difficulties here. Anyway. Can do, however. Also, the AI seems to... At least certain AIs really don't like building, uh... Well, I guess, uh, with her, actually, with this one right here, I can sort of understand why she doesn't like building, uh, naval units, although she should. Oh, well. Oh, well. This guy, he's fired. This one is not. Can they fire from here? No, they need to... Move one. Let's see if we can get out of ranged get out of ranged attack. Let's move one. Now we're out of movement. Okay. Move our carrier just a little bit closer here. We'll see what we can do to this particular city. We can do a decent amount of damage, actually, is what we can do. Let's move our carrier, the shepherd, on over. Let's see what our uh, awesome fighters can do to this city. I think we got them. All right, that's a good way to start off the episode. Okay. Well, goodbye, Alpha Law. I guess we'll just go ahead and grab some of their tech here. The golden rule runs across all good ethics. Let's define... Why waste your breath articulating a morality that was disproven with eloquence and foresight centuries ago on Old Earth? Alright. Oils of war, folks. Regent also stole a crapload of science from uh, Wald and was undetected. That's pretty cool.
We're running out of cities to uh, spy on here. That's a shame. We'll actually send this guy to the the black market here and buy some floatstone. All right, now then, we'll wait a few turns. We'll uh, reposition our dudes, and uh, we will strike. We can manage to pull that off. Hopefully we can't. Oh, we lost our uh, thingy. All right, first off, first what we need to do is we need to actually go into Prosperity and uh, just because it's one of our cities, and we need to purchase a satellite. We need to purchase a... Uh, one of those relay satellites here. What are they called? Palm Relay! We need to purchase one of those. We'll leave our phasal transporter unlaunched for the time being. We'll see about maybe getting these guys. Actually, here's a question. Here's a question, folks. How much does it cost to buy a shepherd? Far more than what I have at the moment. That's okay. Go ahead and move that onto the water, move that onto the water. Move that out. Okay, we'll move the shroud in closer here. I'll battle back a little bit. And we are definitely moving this guy to the front lines. What will be the front lines over here? How far away can these guys go, I wonder? Hmm? How far can they go? They can go a good distance, actually. So let's send him to Fidel. Let's beam this ambassador on over here as well. Set these guys to auto at this point, I don't even care. Alright, next turn! Go! Intrigue levels have increased in our capital. That's not good. Let's assign somebody to our capital. Yes. We have to, I guess. Clamp down on that shit like it's nobody's business. Because it ain't nobody's business what goes on in my capital except mine. Uh, sure, we can build one of those. I like those Aquilions, those are pretty cool. Let's build a Savage, just because they're handy to have. Auto improve. Alright, can these guys attack? Can they bombard? Good. Let's do it. Let's lay down the screw job on uh, KP here, and uh, we'll cement the. Hey, sweetie. You're just pretending to like you. Sorry.
All right, let's blast the living hell out of these suckers. I wonder what happens if we do this. Get some decent damage on the city, that's one thing. Oh, we can manage to do this right now. Submarine. What other units do we have here ready to go? Hmm? Move those guys up. Let's move up the golems. Come, links. Yes, those are extremely important. That extends our orbital coverage rather nicely. And, alright, where is that satellite? Where is that sleeping satellite? There we go. Now launch our phasal transporter to a reasonable location here. In fact, we can launch it in such a way that we uh, have a little bit of ground coverage too if we want to warp in some more ground units. Oh, we're going to have so many of these things we need to reroute. That's going to suck. That to auto I don't care. I don't want to think about workers anymore. They're not my priority at this point. However, it is worth messing with these, uh, or rather optimizing these trade routes. Or at least doing something with them. I should probably still be optimizing them, but, uh... I just don't want them to be sitting idle because they do produce science and, uh... Science and energy. They are very important. Okay, let's see. Another one. That up. An attack on the city at this point would just be a waste. However, an attack on those units, not so much.
beam that dude on over. Much micromanaging, folks. Much micromanaging. We're actually going to see about beaming the uh, first carrier here on over. Alright, next turn. Build it. Next turn, go! Le commerce fonctionne. Alright. Oh! We'll be friendly with Elodie here, and we did lose some units. They're actually putting up more of a fight than I thought they would be. That's good. For them. Not so good for me. Oh, city defense. Okay, they've been attacking my cities, all right. Well, anyway. Let's blast this. We can go ahead and move the carrier on out. Come on, carrier. Come on, shepherd. Beam on out. There we go. Get this dude in range. They upgraded the uh, HP on their city pretty damn quickly. Check out his fire. Holy firing range, Batman! Granted, these things are made out of paper mache, but still. That's damn impressive. Take a look at this guy. He might actually be able to bombard the city from here. Yes, he can. <laughs> That's insane. He can do a damn good job of it, too. All right. So... Hmm. Move that up. Let's move our... Not sure what to do with the flying aircraft carrier here, actually. I guess attack the city for now. Attack that. Primal Aquilion, we'll move him up a little. This dude here, our mortal, will attack. Push ahead. Quest decision. on trying to attack my own dudes, it would seem. Oh! Well, I guess I just won the game, folks. In the annals of history, the great mistake will forever be seen as a terrible and glorious war which damaged our homeworld beyond repair. In this, history is wrong. The mistake was not the war. It was our belief that we could start over. That when faced with mutual destruction, there could be peace between nations. 
It is only now, many years later, and halfway across the universe, that we see the truth. There is only one path to peace, and it must be walked alone. Domination win! Alright, and that right there was the uh, supremacy uh, cinematic that we get there, folks. Not much, uh, and not much in terms of animation there, but it's uh, still pretty cool. I'd like to uh, see uh, like a breakdown of the score and stuff, but uh, yeah. Anyway, this concludes my uh, let's play of uh, Chung Su, at least on uh, Soyuz difficulty here. I'm gonna be moving on to Apollo here uh, next. I think I'm gonna be playing as Hatuma, just because. Uh, for me, it's a known commodity. I can uh, show you guys uh, some of the tricks to winning with Hituma. He is one of the easier ones to uh, play on uh, overall, really, just because he gets so many trade routes. And uh, you've seen me optimize in the later episodes the uh, trade routes to get maxed, uh, maxed out science and stuff. So, the last time I uh, played him just on my own, I played him and uh, got a... Uh, an exodus victory, I believe is what it's called, uh, when you settle the 20 colonists or so. Yeah. One of the easier ones. Actually, come to think of it, the Mind Flower, the exodus victory, and the emancipation victory are all not that challenging. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this series. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope for uh, those of you who are interested in trying harder difficulties of... Uh, Beyond Earth Rising Tide, that it uh, was informative and useful. I try to give you uh, guys a running commentary, which often includes the boredom. I'm going to try to omit that in the future. going to try to get rid of the, I'm so bored of this, uh, I wish the game would just end at this point, I've won, come on already. I'm going to try to uh, get rid of that, because I'm sure it's not great for you guys to listen to anyway. <laughs> Me and my complaining. Anyway, thank you for watching. Apollo difficulty is up next. You'll be also seeing some more uh, of my uh, Let's Play of uh, Brazil in Civilization V, and we'll see how that goes. It may be a disaster. We will see. Thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.